Nights grow dark as the starry lights of our brothers and sisters fade. They are taken as slaves by the steel men of the Griffin Empire, who follow the Lords of the Raven. Tribes' tears tell us to act. Warriors' hearts tell us to fight. But Shaman says, listen to your ancestors. Kunyak and Batu our great ancestors who broke the wizard's chains and freed us spoke to me. Here is my vision. Batu threw her oracle bones. Three symbols rose from the dust. The first was a demon, Batu said. They fight life itself, our Mother Earth. They are the true enemy. We protect life. It is our purpose. What great shaman speaks? <laughs> Next symbol was a dragon king. A young man standing before us. He gave a dark dragon skull to Kunyak to guard for the Chosen One. Kunyak said, The successor will be like Orc, half demon, half man. He wields power to change the world, or destroy it. The last symbol was a spider. Dead, but not dead. She cut the web of demon lies spinning over our world. Batu said, Orcs will meet a spider wearing the face of a man. This spinner will help us save Mother Earth as orcs have done before. <laughs> this message is hope. Our ancestors say wait for the spider omen. Then the orcs will have more than freedom. Orcs will be freedom's champions. Tribe! You hear Shaman's counsel? Shaman says, wait for sign. Only sign I see is Butcher's Knife. Orcs in chains. You think when Orcs were slaves, Cognac sat on ground waiting for signs? Like Cognac, I pay my freedom now with my axe. Ah, Korok is right. Look, see your spider omen here under my foot. <laughs> Korok, leave at dawn to free brothers and sisters. You want more signs? You stay and wait. We must stop this. Korok speaks like the Empire's swords are rusty. Like one noisy orc can break hundreds of chains. Like our ancestors' voices are worth nothing. No, Kujin. Kurok speaks from the heart. Tribe's heart beats with his. He says tomorrow we go to hell. Tribe follows. Prepare for battle. This day, Kurok lead orcs to power. Orcs will rule world. Reinforcements to the left flank. Send my personal guard! Glory to the Queen! High Priest Alaric, a Griffin scout arrives. I must see the Queen. As she predicted, the Orcs are on the move. But sire, we are in the middle of battle. These are her orders, and she is the Queen. Do not let me hear you questioning them again. Servitude to Her Majesty is your only duty. Get back to work. Dying isn't an excuse. These cards aren't going to pull themselves. <laughs> 
What are you looking at? Huh? Orcs! Run! Run! Father Sky! Death to my enemy! Help! Help! Free Brother Centaurs! I, Curl, Great Orc Conqueror, chosen of Cognac, liberate you! You are free! Korok frees all orc slaves! All! Since Cognac have freed all orcs from weak crows, I am Cognac's heir! Now he interprets oracle bones. Kujan, pride blinds you. This is Kurok's day. We have victory! Orcs, run no more! Orcs will rule! Men, elves, dwarves, and even demons will kneel to orcs! Orcs rule! Kurok is conqueror. He thinks to wield axe and bones in the same hand. Gotai, this is not our way. No, Shaman. This is our future. Kurok. Kurok. Kurok! <laughs> Barbarians! Like delirious wolves, let them gorge their bellies and take their naps. When they scatter, we'll hunt them down, one by one. Asha uses all. You have guided my hand. And all has come to pass as you desired. Heresh is nearly united under the command of your humble servant. I, Erentir, Answer your call to restore your balance to Ashan. Listen closely, Ornella. Lord Arantir has already conquered half of Aresh. The rest is bound to fall. But why? You told me he was a humble scholar. That's what we all thought, until he offered Asha's final death 
to four powerful necromancers. Rather grandiose for a bookworm. So how will you impress him? Recite poetry? Indeed, something suitably epic. I intend to earn his favor by offering him the city of Illuminadim, the silver platter. Lord Malfroy's castle. I thought him your friend, and he sets a most sumptuous table. As any good friend would, he would die for me. We'll let his ghost choose the wine when we toast our entire success. For now, I have a task for you. Command me, my lord. A magic gate recently appeared in these lands. It blocks the way to Illuminadim. I want you to find its key. And then, am I prepared to assault a city? You have much power, Onella. I have taught you how to raise the dead. Further secrets shall be yours once you give me Malfroy's city and his head. Giovanni, how romantic. But is it really necessary? The fewer living souls in Heresh in the days to come, the more valuable Arantir will deem our own. Worm doing burrowing so far from his library. Looking for garlic, I presume? I'm on an errand, retrieving tomes of ancient lore for the wizard Menelag. Menelag, you say? This name sounds familiar. I shall mention it to Giovanni. I suggest you find a tower before the sun sets. Giovanni, the way to Illuminadin is now free. What's the next course for this banquet? Fools! This is madness! Are you also in league with demons? <laughs> Malfroy, old friend! Calm yourself. It is me, Giovanni, not some horned fire-spurting demon lord. Blasphemous sorcerers from the Silver Cities have taken control of Illuminadin. I built this portal to lock them inside, and spare the rest of my fight their depredations. Now you've just opened the cage to set free the Hellhounds! Malfoy, as a host, you were without equal. As a strategist and death lord, you are without merit. I shall receive you, Malfroy. Onward, Onella, and keep your troops out of the wine cellar. You have served Asha well, Lord Giafon, and in her name, I accept your offering. Heresh will again be the fulcrum that guarantees her balance. My lands and legions are at your service, Lord Arantir. Asha uses all. Asha uses all. Might I call your attention to the exploits of Lady Ornella, my apprentice, who felled the gates of Illuminadim? She is my gift of allegiance to you. What? Giovanni! I have heard of her resourcefulness. Are you ready, child, to join us? Serving Asha for eternity or until the final death? Yes, High Lord Arantir. It is my deepest desire. Then soon it will be both your deepest and your only desire. Take your place at the center of Asha's web. Stand alone there, and soon you shall join our endless host.
Asha, spinner of death, completer of life. Accept this servant's desire and leave her only will. Beyond life, beyond death, embrace Ornella, death lord of Asha. Fool, you thought I did not know of your murderous ambition? You were such a feeble acolyte, always buried in your books. Who taught you to master such power? There's power to be found in books, if first you learn humility. I surrendered to Asha. Her will is my own, and her plans for Haresh don't include the petty and faithless. <sighs> She'll receive me all the same. It is her way. I'll find you in the next life and smite your soul. Asha uses all. Master Arantir, I... I'm at a loss. I didn't know. You are clever, child, but too easily duped by a frivolous and foolish master. You have much to learn. Should I bind your soul to a decaying body? An obedient ghoul you would make. Hi, Lord. Allow me to do penance. Let me prove my devotion to Asha. Asha uses all, even the living during their brief and ignorant lifetimes. Very well. Tell me why there were demons here, in Huresh. The troubles in Aluma Nadin were caused by the Silver Cities. Demon worship grows unhindered in the Wizard Lands. The name Menelag was pronounced on several occasions. Menelag? Hmm. A renowned scholar of the Silver Cities. I've read his writings on the demise of demons and the origin of orcs. It is time to pay our neighbors a visit. As for you, my child, servants will take you to Naran Kar, where your spirit shall be further purged in the crucible of the goddess. Asha uses all. Corpse lover, idiot believer in incomplete prophecies, prepare for your final death. How opportune. You were heading north to Heresh. What was your purpose? Speak, or I shall bind your soul to a dung fly. I was escorting reinforcements to my brothers in Illuma Nadin. We have taken up residence temporarily in the city. Your lease on Illuma Nadin has expired, as have the lives of your brothers who are now before Asha explaining their impertinence. Now tell me, ignominious one, who is the head of your depraved movement? We are inspired by the Lord Orlando. He is the hierophant of our cult. He's gone underground. A demon within my grasp. I shall find this coward of chaos and send him back to the Sheog from which he came. As our swords conquer this land, our ears must listen for sounds of corruption. Monstrosities from Sheog are easy to fight. Belief is a far more difficult beast to slaughter. The leader of the demon cultists must be found before his foul words taint a shan to its core. Erentir, favored of the spinner. You come for knowledge, seeking a man of magic who tracks Chaos's taint. His path and yours are intertwined. I know his name. It's Menelag. Can you tell me his intentions, Seer? Ah, the question that I feared. Then my final words you now hear. He hunts a thing that will one day be the object of all your desires, though its power he does not understand. Can you tell me if I need to end his life, and should it be before or after I put an end to this demon presence? Yes, 
You will end his life, but not before he meets someone greater than you, one who holds the destiny of Asha in his hands. Asha and Urgash shall kneel to his will, and you will try and sway his choice with your dying breath, as I look upon you with my own. You have met this demon worshipper named Orlando. Tell me of him. I've... I've never seen him. Only heard tales. Other wizards speaking. Archmage Menelag was very curious about him. Menelag again? He shares dangerous company. Is he himself a demon cultist? Nothing directly, sire. But he was in the library seeking ancient lore on demons and the legacy of the Seventh Dragon. He's a grand scholar. Where did he go after leaving your city? To the Bull Duchy. He followed the Lord Orlando. The Bull Duchy? Queen Isabel's borders are corrupted by chaos. This ends now. I will not have demon worshippers walking freely upon the face of Ashan. To the Griffin Empire! and bloody home, my old duchy. And there is no love lost. They like me no better as a servant of Asha, but it is no longer their admiration I seek, for it is to Lord Arantir that I must prove myself. And for that, I must build an army strong enough to clear the land of these Red Queen's fanatics. Remember me, Countess Onella? I was once a friend and servant of your Lord Giovanni. He has met his final death, I'm afraid. Now I serve an even greater Lord, High Necromancer Arantir. Then we will now serve you, milady. Know that there are many like us in the deserted villages, dark forests, and ancient graveyards of this region. They, too, might be willing to join your army and walk again. Asha uses all. There's also Giovanni's old castle. It is deserted and in ruins now, but should you seize it, it would serve your plans. My thanks for your aid. May Asha bless you for your timely information. <laughs> Congratulations, Lady Ornella. A brilliant battle. Asha uses all, High Lord Arantir. Look at his terror. We are getting closer to this nest of demon worshippers. Fear is their drink of preference. Demons! You speak treachery! Puh. I don't follow hill 
Ulf's children. Queen Isabel will find you and strip the festering flesh from your blasphemous bones! Then tell us, how is it that a certain Orlando, pawn of the demons, walks your land freely? A demon could never tread our sacred land. The Reformed Church of Saint Isabel and his eminence, Archbishop Alaric, hunt them day and night. A Reformed Church, you say? And this Alaric? I've never heard of him. Who is he? The Bishop of the town of Flamshrein. Saint Isabel has declared it our holy city. Alaric is mighty before Elrath. A glance from his most sacred brow will burn your stinking flesh to ashes. Stinking flesh, you say? You shall smell it for centuries. We have all the information we need. Add this new recruit to our army. Shall I prepare the troops to scour the duchy in search of Orlando? No. Asha has shown me our mission. The Griffin Empire is holy no more. We must stamp out its corruption. The Red Queen Isabel is certainly a vector of the plague. But to find its true source, we must move on to this sacred city. On to Flamshrine. I know this land. My father called it Golden Fountain. It's famous for the wealth of its gold mines. Gold? What does Asha care for shining baubles? Worldly possessions are illusion. True, but we know that our enemies need it to pay their troops and to bribe the local mayors so they do not rise up against the cruelty of the Red Queen's regime. In addition, assaulting Flamshrine will be difficult and expensive. With this gold, we both weaken them and strengthen our own position. Raising two faithful with a single spell, hmm? Though mining is beneath our calling to Asha, your point is well made, child. Alas, Flamshrine is to our north. We have hostile territories to cross and the demon corruption has spread everywhere. Ornella, we need to scout the land and be ready to cleanse it from the spawns of Urgash. Asha uses all. Here? How fascinating. From what I've read, these look to be a band of scouts and raiders. We need to find the bulk of their army and parlay with their leader. Do you know, Ornella, the nature and origins of these splendid warriors? It is said they were made using demon's blood. Really? Well, they certainly inherited their charm and looks. Sadly, yes. Or perhaps history would have been kinder to them. It is also written that they are immune to demonic magics. Alas, they do not seem immune to stupidity. While I look for their leader, Ornella, make sure we consolidate our city and keep our army supplied. The city walls must not fall to the Orc Raiders. Yes, my lord. I will not fail you. Who tread so blithely on Elrath's holy ground? Followers of Asha, we have business with demons and orcs. How do you mean, business? I too have business with demons, primarily in administering their last rites. Then you'll be happy to find the town of theirs south of here, burned to the ground. Fire with fire, eh? If you're looking to fight demons, you should head up to Flamshrine. Just keep traveling. You'll find it in the next region, off to the northeast. Their corrupted church is ruled from there, protected by fanatics, the Bloodsteel Legion. When I have fulfilled the true Queen Isabel's orders and collected enough troops, that will be 
my target. May Asha bless your efforts then. Hurry in your task, or you shall find nothing of the demon church but a smoking hole. Greetings, Demon Slayer. I come in peace. I must speak to your leader. You rotting wizard! You smell of death! We will grant your wish. Scalp your flesh with our knives. Shaman will talk with your bones. Ha 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 ha! May Father Sky light your path and warm your days. May Mother Earth fill your belly and cool your nights. Greetings, proud chief. I am Arantir, High Lord of Heresh. Greetings, High Lord Arantir. I am no chief. I am Shaman Kujin, daughter of dreams. How does a Lord of Death know Orc greetings? I have read much on those born to fight the first demons. Tell me, Shaman Kujin, what are the orcs doing so far from their steps? I'm collecting bones from those who would enslave our people. You have many bones, too. Who do you take them from? Not from those destined to slay demons. Yes. I saw you in a dream. You are Asha's spider. Me? <laughs> no. I am but the spider's servant. Do Kujin and the orcs still vow death to all demons? Forever! Our new war chief brings us to chase demons back to hell. Then you know of the danger, and we have a common goal. Shaman Kujin, perhaps we can work together. Let us take counsel. We have much to discuss. I have seen our omen. Death Lord, yesterday's enemy, today my brother servant to Asha. Hear my lament. I greet you, unrestful spirit, and I listen. Be quick, I have urgent matters to attend. I am Lord Ford, former regent of Flam Shrine. I was murdered by Alarek's misled minions. Avenge me, and I will reward you with your cold heart's deepest desires. Master Arantir, I doubt that a griffin ghost could give us anything of worth. Wait! There is a barrier that blocks the way to Flam Shrine. It is built with demonic magic. You cannot destroy it, lest you are prepared to send four of your most powerful disciples to cleanse the altars that you will find near the surrounding castles. Indeed, your knowledge serves Asha. What else do you know? Only that the ritual will most certainly drain your disciples of all their life force, and that even with their barrier down, the city won't be easy to conquer. 
But if you slay the traitors who stab me in my sleep, I will tip the scales in your favor. Lord Fulbert, the task is done. I have sent you the pleading spirits of your murderers. Thank you, Lord Alendir. Here is your reward. Use it as Asha intends. Thank you, Death Lord. My father, Lord Fulbert, was murdered by demon cultists. I must have my revenge. Revenge you will have, child of Elrath. Join us in Asha's name. Ornella, oh, are you prepared? This ritual, it might bring you the true death. My lord, I understand and I accept. Asha uses all. I will offer my spirit to her gladly so that you, her favorite, might stop this corruption. Farewell, master. Farewell, Ornella, my child. Alas, Ornella, to honor your bittersweet memory, I will carve your name on Orlando's skull. And yet who knows, Asha may find some further need for you. Does your Asha ally herself with demons? Has Elrath fallen? No, your majesty. Asha has sent me to stop this corruption. Oh, I thank her. I am relieved. But my, my thoughts are cloudy. I suffer living nightmares. What has been done to you, Queen Isabel? They took my blood. Just after I birthed a monster, forced upon me by Kabbaleth, the demon sovereign. A true horror, tortured queen. But why would demons do this? That child. They would make of him a dark messiah. I've seen a dark skull made of shadows, a dragon's head. They need it to breach their prison walls. They seek the relics of Sari Lam. The false Isabel has given herself to Urgash. The real Isabel is... I am elsewhere gathering troops to throw down the usurper. Please, you must free my essence. Release me. 
Your magic can end this corruption. Yes, Spirit of Elrath's Queen. I shall send you back to your true body. Soul torn asunder for Chaos's goal. Return to your vessel. And may no one use this memory for Urgash's foul purpose. Asha uses all. False Red Queen, I send you Asha's greetings! What? It cannot be! Oh well, all the things must come to an end. Time for a change of plan! shall bring justice on all of the Griffin Empire. Be wary, Queen Isabel. What's that? Dragon of Light, have mercy. What have they done to me? A demon, his fire. Elra, please, no! Asha, it is a blessing to be your tool. Order has been restored. The living armies of your children will strike the final blow. But a new path opens before me. A grave urgency. I cannot stay. I must find the Skull of Shadows before they do. Before this demon spawn releases the powers that could unravel the web that is our world. Asha uses all. I have raised you like my son, in ways of our tribe. Wanted tribe to rule all Ashan, but my pride thought I had blessing of cognac. Father Sky, I, Kurok, second Khan of all orcs, will fight on in Gortai's axe. Avenge me, kill priest of slavery. Kill Alaric. Many orcs dead, Kurok dead, no true son, no heir! Orc ways give path. Need new champion, new war chief must prove strength. Go to Ravenlands. Kill orc enemies, all enemies! Orc with most heads, new war chief! I swore an oath to avenge Kurok! I go now to kill Alaric and Queen of Steelmen! Have no time for headhunting! Wait, Gotai. Kengi is only a witch doctor. But Kengi is right. First you must become war chief. Leaderless clans are weak. Leader? I live but twenty winters. Orcs will not follow warriors so young. Your spirit is old enough. Now, use your mind. Alone you will not avenge Kurok. You will die. But with our tribes beside you, the Queen will surrender her body back to Mother Earth. Wise counsel, Kujin. 
I will take heads, and with Orc army, greater than all before us, I will avenge our Khan! What dream do you see for new Khan? Contest is won. Shamans make me war chief, but not all orcs agree. Many challenge me. The bones have spoken. You won the contest. He who fights Gotai now fights Mother Earth. Trust her ways. They are old. Gotai's bones are not old enough. I will take Kurok's place. I am heir to Kunya. Rule orcs! Rule world! Your heart is poison, Tingal. You seek glory, not good for orcs. Orcs will follow Gotai! No! Strongest wins! That is way of orcs! We fight! Attack! Those who fight me, fight Father Sky! Now, I order. Khan of Orcs orders. Honor our dead. I must visit all tribes. Defeat every chief if they refuse me as Khan. Like Tengal did. Gotai, no. Many brothers will die. Let me visit our tribes. I will speak with Mother Earth's voice. I will get them to follow you. Cannot wait, Kujan. Kurok's spirit cries for vengeance. I do not say wait. Father Sky has chosen you. Take those who are loyal and go. I will meet you with many clans. Good. Path is chosen. Alaric will die, and Kurok will be avenged. It is the will of Father Sky. I must convince them to join Gotai without spilling blood. Mother Earth, guide me. Greeting, Shaman Kujan. Mother Earth blesses us with your presence. Greetings, Great Chief Tulan. I have come to raise warriors for the new Khan. We have heard of Gotai. Good Khan. Goblin hunters speak well of him. We will follow. Father Sky blesses us. I have more tribes to see, but tonight we celebrate the coming of Gotai. Mother Earth, lend me your voice. I must sway our people to follow Gotai. Let them gather around me to follow the new Khan that your vision may come to pass. Oh, and Mother Earth, forgive me for cheating you with bones. Greetings, Chief Dulgan. We come a long way to bring you news of Khan Gotai. He has need of brave warriors. Hmm, new Khan? This good. Means war soon to come. Gotai fight to free orc slaves? I have heard of this. Uh, yes. Free the slaves. But the chief better come quickly, or there will be no slaves left to free. Our clan longing for battle. Long time we hide. No more. We join you. Now time for feast and dance at bonfire. Hey, 
ugly shaman. Go cast spells someplace else. Only bones we need are bones of dead enemies. Or maybe a roasted chicken. Shut up, Gork. Gork only thinks of eating. Yeah, shaman. Take your stupid bones and big dumb orcs and leave. Or we make stew with your sprakas. Stupid Gork. Shaman female. Where you get sprakas? <laughs> Orcs will spend today praying to a bucket. It will be easy to go into Batal's town now. Shaman Kujin, go! We not follow Kurok Khan! Our shaman sees bad future for orcs. We wait, new Khan. Ah. Uh. Now I understand why you fight us. But it is better to talk first, Chief Batal. Kurok died freeing slaves. Gotai is our new Khan. Gotai? New Khan? Hmm. Mossy Shaman. If true, then we follow Gotai. Go with Kujin. And I want to see your Shaman. I need to teach her how to read bones better. But I also see the future. It tells me we will have a big celebration. Lack of sleep is not an excuse I'm willing to accept. We must move faster and catch them. The orcs must be stopped in the name of Queen Isabel. They are a stain on our holy soil. Tell your troops that I will send their souls to hell myself if they don't. Sky, we give you victory! Walls of men tremble and fall! Speak, Kengi, master of disguise. Have you found track of my father's killer? Yes, Gotaika. But Red Steel Shaman not one. Alaric chase Gotai. Follow orcs. That fool! Where is he? Crosswater must live many days. Then Hunter will be Prey, and Prey will be Hunter. Father Sky has answered my desire. I follow my heart, and Alaric comes to me. I will honor Kunyak's grave. Then avenge Kurok! Halt! Knights are burying their dead. The orcs respect brave enemies. Mother Earth cries. Elrath, take the last Gryphon heir unto you. Deliver unto us a new king, deserving of your blessing, that the Empire may rise anew. Your Eminence! Orcs! Hail, Knights of Griffin. I am Shaman Kujin, daughter of dreams. We honor your dead. We do not come to fight. I am Melchior, priest of Elrath. We have had enough of fighting and blood. And now, this, we lay to rest the last child of the Griffin household. 
Killed upon order of the Queen. Queen? The Queen of your Empire kills the child of the Empire? It is not the true Queen. It cannot be. She slew her nephew, our prince and heir, draining the blood from his veins, claiming it was necessary to cleanse the Empire. Mother Earth, hold fast his body. Father Sky, welcome his spirit. What is this? What did you do? Strange words rise from Mother Earth. The child's blood was taken to change a magical heart. This heart should keep demons away. But now it calls to them. It brings them. Sacrilege! She used the heart of Griffin when she slew him. And now she will use it to summon her allies. Then we fight together. We come to kill demons, not knights. And never the children. Thank you, Shaman Kujin. For Andre and for Elrath. If we do not join together, we shall all be slaves of demons. <laughs> Mother Earth has a good sense of humor. Now steel men need orcs to free them from slavery. Let us take counsel. We have much to discuss. I have met our omen. An omen, am I? Would this mean that the orcs have knowledge pertaining to the demon presence in Ashan? Queen Isabel has sacrificed the only heir to bring demons into her empire. Then my mission for Asha has become clearer. I will take Flamshrine, the heart of their new church's cult. I must lead our clans to War Chief Gotai. It seems, Spider Omen, that our paths must part. Gotai brings war to Alaric, Isabel's high priest. May Mother Earth give you clear paths, and Father Sky light your way. It has been a true pleasure to meet such a wise orc shaman. Thank you, Arantir of the Spider Goddess. But Master of Death must be careful. Death is one thing demons don't fear. They do not fear death, but they will learn to fear destiny. Your Majesty, I bring you the Orc Invader Korok's head. I have set it on a pick in front of the parade grounds. They were hardly as dangerous as you feared. Well done, Archbishop. You have shown me that my favor was not ill-placed. What? It cannot be! Oh well, all wicked things must come to an end. Time for a change of plan! Damn Asha and her children! Flam Shrine has fallen! You fool! While you were chasing orcs, the sacred city has been taken! You? Your Majesty? A demon? What? How? Who? I must confess. You have pledged your life to a daughter of Urgash. <laughs> ah, you have served me well. Corrupt the sacred corruption? Yes, Elrath forgives demons that kill demons. Am I a demon? No! No. Malaric, High Priest of the Light. The bloody red light! <laughs> Bleeding heart of the Griffin, the blood of your prince opens the doors to the princes of chaos! Come to me, my king! Our prison will soon be no more! Wizards bring orcs to world, then use them as slaves. I will find birthplace of orcs and honor Kunyak. Then 
Wizard Snow Orcs has race with own fate, own gods, own place on Ashan. Other Sky, Gotai near birthplace of Orcs. Hunyak's memory will be praised. We will send demons back to Shayok with axe through skull. Then we find Alaric. Alaric will pay for Korok's death. of old. Orcs call upon your memory, upon your strength. Voice of Kunyak taught us. Now orcs choose orc fights. Orcs choose orc enemy. Orcs choose orc fate. Mother Earth, remember Kunyak. Let his wisdom be our wisdom. Orcs offer our enemies' bodies to nourish your soil. Father Sky, remember Kunyak. The world knows his courage. Let it be with us today. We will show that demon fire and human pride are nothing before the power of Father Sky. Brothers and sisters, it is time to avenge the death of Korok! Kunyak is with us to bolden our hearts, strengthen our arms. Orcs are children of earth and sky, and orcs will change the world! like a child, but you're too ugly! You must be a demon! Gotai Avenge Kura this offers honor! Mother Earth's shaman calls challenge of Father Sky! Kill this demon! Kill him! Kill them all! You kill Kangi! You bastards! Have no honor, Alaric, friend of demons! You die today and be buried in cursed ground! You lie, demon! I'll have your head! Capture him! I want to cut the head off his body myself! I'll give it to Saint Isabel! Maybe it'll change her back into an angel! No more! Sleep on the wings of Father Sky! Putin, it is done. I have lived to honor my father. It is not done. It is started. I met the man of the Spider Omen. 
he attacks the city of the Griffin Empire's Demon Church. The Red Queen brings Urgosh's children to Ashan. Then orcs will finish war that night started. The Red Queen will die, and orcs will send demons back to Shayark. Yes, orcs are not alone. Her bones tell me that many armies will come to kill demons. Honor to Kunyak and Father Sky! For our children! For our children! Demon cultists come out of hiding and take over a few cities. Orcs invade to kill off the cultists. A letter of warning from the Griffin ambassador who then gets murdered in the middle of the night. Books? Research? No longer part of my vocabulary. Narxes, grab the buckets and mops. Ashan needs another good scrubbing. in Shahibdia. Not for the first time in history. I'd like to greet you, but I'm not sure how. <laughs> we have orc greeting for strangers. No, Gotai. No axes. Orcs also have a greeting for neutral tribes. Ah, lovely. What is it? We say hello. What? You... Oh, I see. <laughs> yes. Well then. <laughs> Hello! Right, down to business. You may not see it this way, but you have done us a huge favor by wiping out those demonists. See? Orcs are friendly. Helpful. Ahem. <clears throat> yes. Uh, to thank you, and I suppose apologize for the nasty bits of our shared history, I would like to give you this. It was left behind when Kunyak led the orcs from Shahibdia. The staff of Kunyak. Of Kunyak? Ah, great gift from time when orcs found freedom. Yes, the staff of Kunyak. Kunyak was wise. He said the demons are orcs' first enemy. Wizards and knights are second. Very wise, very wise. I like Kunyak, and I hate demons. Demons are in Griffin Empire. Griffin Queen is demon. Summons demons to city every day. What? So that letter was right. <sighs> we defeated the Sovereign in Queen Isabel's war, but it looks like he's still muddling in the Griffin Empire. You fight Kabalith, King of Demons? In Sheog itself, with Clan Lord Raylag of Igchal, Findon of Ireland, and the Griffin Lord Godric. We baited him in his lair and struck him down. Ah, wizards are good. Zaheer is good. Orc, friend. Zaheer wishes to fight more demons? Not really. <laughs> I can think of lots of things, uh, 26 actually, that I'd rather do. However, analyze, itemize, then prioritize. And this comes first by a long shot. Then go to Knight's Lands. We collect Orc troops, scattered clans. We go to main city, Talengard, to wipe out demons. I'll meet you there. But let's not be too hasty. If something is wrong with Queen Isabel, there's one person who will know what's up. My old friend, Rayleigh. First of the circle, your wish is granted. Your flying city is here. You may summon it during your travels, but it will require a large space to land. A special space. Finally, now I can take my town with me wherever I go. Uh, wait, how did you handle the energy question? 
It is your city. It is driven by your own power. You may summon it, but it will consume a part of your soul. Eat the precious knowledge that you value so highly. Why must Jinns always give with one hand and take with the other? Huh. Can you show me how it works? Of course. Like this. Wait, no! I wanted to... Great. Thank you. Why did the universe create them with such a malicious sense of humor? My Lord Zeer, I have been sent by the Circle with another terribly useful spell for you. Yes? Look, you can summon creatures to help you. You can call units from the Silver Cities direct to your location on Asher. Another helpful spell. I'm almost afraid to ask how it works. <laughs> How it works? It works like this. Noxies! So you're the great Zaheer that Maylag knew. A friend, he said. Amusing, yet quite wise. Knew? Said? Don't tell me that Raylag... The clan lord Raylag lives, but travels far. A demon-born messiah worries him. Demon-born messiah? I see. Sar Shazar's prophecies. It all makes sense. Isabel. Turmoil in the Griffin Empire. A distraction. But a murderous one. Carpeleth is toying with us. Never. Not on my life. Elia, we must go to Talongard in all haste and with all strength. Your wishes and my clan lords are as one. I'll show you hidden ways across our lands. Though on your road, you'll meet rebellious clans who hate all those who are not born here in Ikchal. I'm not worried. Noxy's brought his most dangerous brooms and shovels for the job. Very well. I'll meet you on the far side. Efficient, fast, and thorough, young Zaheer. My thanks for your assistance with my tasks. Not at all. A bit of worry with the reinforcements from Ilm Hydra, but nothing we couldn't clean up. I'm off to Talonguard. No, I should speak with Godric first. Alas, you do not know Lord Godric's fate? A victim of Biara, the False Queen. Godric? I heard he was in jail and sick, but... Godric's daughter, Freyda, leads the cause. The true queen, Isabel, recruits as well. Isabel versus Biara, eh? Why am I not surprised? Off I go then to find Freda and figure this out. Heathen atheist wizard scum! You have set your stinking body on holy soil! I will take it as an offering to purify our empire. After my body, are you? You knights are all the same, these repressed tendencies. I'd hate to be a choir boy in your church.
my lord, please. My apologies. Forgiveness. There were rumors, but I had no idea. Uh, hello? Look, I'm kind of busy. Yes, of course. We have work to do. Elrath's work. I know a way to purge the illusions of those foul creatures. One purifying rite, and the wheat and the chaff shall separate. Oh, shall they? Actually, that would be really useful. Can I help? Wait, let's see. We would need two more priests. Excellent. There is a sacred place to the north. Send them there, then come when... Uh, you find the other thing. Other thing? What else would we need? Oh, no. One of those? I'm afraid so. Nothing less than a tear of Asha. Hmm. The plot thickens. In fact, it's solidifying. was great. You know, if people knew how much fun it is to blow things up, they'd all want to be wizards. Greetings, or hello in Orkish. <laughs> Sorry, I'm looking for Freyda, the daughter of Godric. Don't say it. Let me guess. Zahir. Very good. How did you know? Let's just say that not everyone who stops by for tea, dresses in a wizard's robe, brings a flying city and knew my father. She means welcome. I'm sorry. But her courtly manners have slipped a bit in the last months. You know, Duncan, sometimes you remind me of my mother. Clearly, she didn't spank you enough. Um, excuse me, can we discuss how to destroy Biara? Hmm, yes, sorry. I guess you had a hand in what just happened, hmm? Of course, with the help of one of those red priests. Once he realized that he was helping the demons, he had a change of heart. That's our biggest headache. Their infernal magic is strong with lies and illusions. Not anymore. The demons can no longer hide themselves. The illusion is shattered. You'll find a few new friends among the ex-supporters of the Queen, I imagine. Keep an eye out. Zaheer, you have done a great service to the Griffin Empire today. We are eternally... Yeah, that's fine. Don't mention it. Look, do we have enough troops to attack now? I don't know. Scouts tell us the demons have been summoning reinforcements, and Wolfstan's tied up at home. Wolfstan? Sounds dwarvish. An old friend and a great fighter. He leads one of the dwarf clans, but he's been declared an outlaw. An army of dwarves? I've always been curious about their rune magic. Hmm. Show me the way. I'll have a chat with your friend. I can go. No. We'll both be needed here. With the demon illusions destroyed, the streets will be full of madness. That's it then. See you in Talengard. A wizard? What brings you from the sandy hills to the stone halls? I'm looking for a dwarf named Wolfstan. He was described as friendly, cantankerous, loyal, and less drunk than he pretended to be. Ah, you've been talking to me, mate, Duncan. How go things in the Empire? Better and better, but Biara is summoning demons in her defense. And they're thinking a few stout dwarves might turn things in their favor. I'd be more than happy to go, but I'm tied down here with that blasted idiot, Hangbo. And Arketh knows where that other idiot, my half-brother Rolf, is. In fact, Arketh knows where Arketh himself is. So, how can I help? I'll tell you. Hangvel has been hiding this, but Arketh has been silent for years, for decades. No one knows why, but because of what Hangvel, he leads the clan of our rune priests, can say whatever he damn well pleases, or nobody can call him a liar. So, 
go to the surface. Find the Earthfire Shrine. It's where Arketh first showed himself to us. A patch of land always green amid the snows. It's the one place that he might be willing to show himself to you. And if Arkath won't intervene? Well then, I suppose we all better learn to speak demon. Wolfstan. Wolfstan? That ill-gotten dolt who takes himself for a clan leader? Incompetent drunken swine! Okay, that answers that question. Wolfstan wishes to bring Hangbull to the altar of Arkath. Nobody is getting near that altar. Not until the number of claimants to the throne is reduced to just one. Me. You're on nobody's side, are you? My side. My own side. And neither of those fools, nor some madman dressed like a minstrel, is going to get the upper hand. It'll be sad to see you go. You're sort of perfection, you know. Every unpleasant human trait bundled into a single package. <laughs> It took you long enough to get here. Some of us have to walk without the aid of flying cities, you know. And you must be... Hangvold. Pretty clothes you have there, unbeliever. Wolfstan, are you telling me that this girly boy is going to talk to Arkath? <laughs> is he always this nice? Usually less so. Do you think this is it? We'll know soon enough. It looks right. I don't know. It's been lost for ages. He thinks he found Arkath? This ninny couldn't find his buttocks without five perfumed slaves to help. Lord of Magma and ruler of the Forge, the fire of our devotion burns in our hearts. Faithless! He's uh, talking to you, Hank. I have waited years. At last, one comes to wake me. It's about time! We've been fighting demons and each other for so damn long, now there's no law or reason! You left us! Sacrilege! I left when you failed me. When you failed Elrath and Salara. I left when you let the demons and their friends walk across my lands. I left when Hangbol betrayed the souls of the dwarves by turning them from their brothers and me. Oh, I didn't... Yeah, you know, we've got a little worry with the demons in Talangar. You wouldn't mind if we go lend a hand and break a few horned heads. Cleanse the kingdom of my brother Elrath. Wherever the seed of Urgas sprouts, let it be crushed to wither and die. At least someone around here gives orders that I like. It is now for you to give orders, King Wolfstar. Well then, grab anyone you can and take your fastest routes to Talengard. Do we have any further questions? Just this. What do you wish of me? My king. To the gates! Hurry! As if Kabbalah himself wields the whip! Fire! Oi! 
for the crime! Celebrating a little too soon, aren't we? Not a good day to be a demon. Eat that, Zoki! Yeah! Back to back, lad! Sheer of hell! Wait, they probably enjoy that! For Elrath, Griffin Eternal! is over. Your troops are dead, your allies exposed, your magic broken. And you don't look too good either. <laughs> Demon! No, Gotai. Biara killed Isabel's husband, Freda's father. Vengeance is theirs. I spit on your righteous purity and your ill wrath. <laughs> I have done marvelous damage to your filthy little kingdom! It's all over. It will all come to nothing. Dogs! I still have the power to tear your screaming souls from your fragile flesh! Not me, Biara. I am beyond your reach. You? Still alive? Sickening? Hmm, no matter. You will have a great deal of pain to undo what I have done. This alone makes my death worthwhile. Go ahead and kill me! My husband, my kingdom, you have much to answer for. An old friend once told me that the demons are exceedingly permissive. They allow anything, except failure. Cataclysmic failure. Destruction of the major demon cults across three nations. Death of most of the armies of Sheog. You know, I wouldn't want to be in her shoes. You couldn't, lad. She has hooves. They wouldn't fit. <laughs> I like him. My queen. No, not anymore. I have had enough. I abdicate. You shall be Queen Freda, providing you find a suitable husband. Husband? Uh, yes. Suitable, no. Hmm. Second thoughts, matey? <laughs> <laughs> no, actually. Except for the question of who my best man might be. By Elrith, can we hurry up and get married? Then he can go home and take his sense of humor with him. So be it. Among her crimes, Biara brought the Griffin Empire to an end. Freda, yours will be a difficult task, to rebuild what was lost. So let the Unicorn Empire be born in joy and hope. And babies. Lots and lots of babies. <laughs> I like him. <laughs> All's well that finally ends well. Another setback for Kabbaleth. Yet I am not so foolish as to call it a victory. 